every single door. Are uh, you ready? Ready? I'm ready. <laughs> oh! oh my god, no! They never had a pretty girl from Joburg to me now, and that's what they prefer. I don't touch no wheel, cause I got a chauffeur. Cause that's how I get around the world. Just me and me get the job. Unless you come in with that car, I must. Or do you just tell in the sound of? Cause we about to pour it around. Welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Taja. We do everything lifestyle, faith, beauty, travel. We've got a lot of exciting and fun things going on, so I'm taking y'all on my week. I just put up to the gas station. I'm about to fill up my tank, then head to my hair appointment, y'all. I'm getting some boho knot list. I've been pushing it off, but really, like, everything in me wanted some knot list boho braids this summer, like extra boho hair like i'm super duper excited especially because i'm going out of town this weekend and we're going to dc so on the agenda today i have to head to the beauty supply store and pick up my um curly bundles for my hairstyle head to the braiding shop we're going to jamila hair braiding which i've been to before they did my braids when i went to saint lucia and i loved 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 it also, one of my favorite things with getting my hair braided there is that literally right next door to them is this Nigerian restaurant and I've been craving some Nigerian food. So yeah, I've got a hair appointment at 11 o'clock. It's currently 10.01 and uh, uh, I still want to go pick up the hair and get some breakfast before I head there. So let's get moving, okay? Let's get moving. It's a whole lot of hair up in here. We did curly hair, extra curly, and y'all, this is a lot of curly bundles. I pray they don't start shedding. Yeah, girl, she is very full. She didn't really put a lot of mousse, so I am gonna go to Target and pick up some mousse so I can spruce it up myself when I get home. I know we don't see the vision right now, but wait till I get home. I'm going to fix it up, spruce it up. You already know. So, of course, I stopped by Mama J. It's right next door from the braiding shop, and I picked me up some Nigerian food. Now, listen. My boo is Nigerian and I'm going to see him this weekend. He wants me to wait. I was going to get some fufu, some igusi, like the whole nine yards. He wants me to wait till I get to DC so he can put me on like some good authentic Nigerian food. But in the meantime, I picked up the jollof rice. I told him I'll wait, but that jollof was calling my name, okay? I got some stew on top. I got a uh, plantain and then for my meat I decided to go with the fish and she put some of that stew on top of the fish for me. We're going to do a little mug bang but first let me say grace. God I got thank you for this food. We have such a beast bless it. Don't move any impurities from it. Thank you for provision and may this bring nutrition to our bodies. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. 
All right, I'm gonna start with the jollof rice. Let's go. Oh, this is good. With the stew, I feel like by itself it would have been a cool seven out of ten, but that stew takes it to a nine. Mm. Mm. Fish is okay. But it's not as fresh. I gotta learn how to make some Nigerian food, baby. Y'all, this is so good. We're about to head home after this, y'all. Today was just dedicated to hair. We're gonna head to Target before we head home. God, I feel much better. I was starving. And I forgot my water in there. It's been raining literally every single day, y'all. Every day this week. She's that girl. Shea Moisture. That girl. We are finally back home and I'm about to attempt to fix this hair up because there's just a lot going on right now. <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> but let me put my mousse on let me like i bought everything like let me spruce it up a little bit this is enough braids for two heads but you know what she's probably gonna last about two months i'm not gonna lie i'm probably gonna keep this in for two months because it would literally be a waste of money if i don't i'm about to stand up on the side of this tub so y'all can see how long my hair is. Can y'all see? She is long, honey. She's long. Money long, hair long. This literally is saving the day. This is the way anti-freeze cream and it's very hydrating. A little bit more mousse. I might have to check in a bag for this weekend trip because I'm gonna have to bring those products with me. Like, so now let's get into my favorite part, the edges. And I've been loving this edge control edge fixer. I got it from Target. This and edge booster are my top two. But what I like with this, it doesn't dry out like edge booster does. And this doesn't really leave um, any like flakiness or white cast either like it's very moisturizing if you literally like if you don't tell them you want your edges out they will literally braid everything they will braid your eyebrows girl if you don't tell them you want your edges out all right y'all uh oh, finally now this is the final look to literally my favorite fragrance right now i just picked this up at sephora a few days ago this is the chaotic yum pistachio you guys this is so lovely i just love the different combination of scents this has marshmallow vanilla pistachio it's just so nice it's i've been getting so many compliments on it too so oh my god so lovely spray this on this morning because i'm truly in love with it i got the travel size because i really wanted to give it a try and also take it with me on my trip this weekend but i definitely began that full size it's that good
She's hot and I need more creamer. A little more, a little more. I'm back home from my workout. We had a great workout today. I just can't miss a leg day. Working out with Gian has literally transformed my body. That 7 a.m. workout class, 7 a.m. gym session is never easy, but it really sets you up for success. You're doing something amazing for your health. You're doing something amazing for yourself. That gets me up and out of bed. So I feel amazing. Definitely feel like I didn't push myself as much today, but we showed up and did what we had to do. So um, it's 10 o'clock. I've got one hour before my lash appointment and my lash tech is literally like 10 minutes from my house. So um, I was gonna get breakfast on the way home, but I said, girl, we got food at home, okay? I like my avocado toast better anyway, so I just decided to come home and um, make a quick breakfast before my appointment. So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my famous avocado egg toast. This is literally the best avocado toast that I personally had. Now, if I was in Love Island, this is how I would be making my toast. <laughs> I watched a few episodes, right? I kind of skipped around. They don't play by the avocado toast every morning. Everywhere. And we're preaching, we, we believe it's the full true gospel. So stop, I've been trying to appeal, appeal to itching ears and stuff like that. The, the commission, the great commission is about getting this glorious gospel in the ears of unbelievers and that the Holy Spirit prick the hearts. So we want to do our part so that the Holy Spirit can do his part. Amen? And you are welcome. All good, chuck a look around, find one to see my type. Now my dog and he know what I like. He done found me plenty in my life. Problem is I meet his girl tonight. Then I go and treat it too nice. Got a red credit card swipes. I don't even know if she a wife. But I do know one thing though. Women they come, they go. Saturday through Sunday, Monday. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. We're going to DC tomorrow. Woo, woo, woo. We're celebrating my babe's brother's birthday this weekend. And um, yeah, so I love that we are creating this 
um, routine of praying together every day, y'all. Like, we pray together every night. Very intentional prayer. One thing that's a non-negotiable for me is a man of God, right? So, um, having a partner that also is God-fearing and that is 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 growing their relationship with God and we can grow our relationship with God together. We may be on different paths, right? But we are that is one non-negotiable for me. Like I just and I just love that he prioritizes that. Like if I'm like about to fall asleep, he's like, babe, let's pray real quick. Let's pray. Like while we're on the phone. And um that truly means a lot to me. That is a non-negotiable. Like I want my relationship to be centered. Um, I want my relationship, I want my partner to, you know, follow God, to be centered around God. So that's like super duper important for me. Anything rooted in God will multiply. <laughs> will multiply. You hear me? We will be chatting up in a little bit. I'm going to fold these clothes up a little bit. Tackle this laundry for maybe an hour. And then we'll do like an unboxing of a few things I got for today. So, yeah. I'll pick y'all back up in a sec. We got some PR in the mail the other day. I've been wanting to show you guys. I got a package from Amazon. And I also got some new sneakers yesterday. Let's start with the sneakers since they're literally right here. But um, love, love it. I wanted to, I wanted a new pair of like everyday Aaron sneakers, travel sneakers. I might wear them today because I do have to head back to the mall to do a return. I love these so, so much. So I got the Nike V2K Run and um there's like two different colors there's the all silver one and then this one has silver black and beige favorite new shoes right now they are so cute and chunky so comfortable on i tried them on in the store yesterday and i like the style they do remind me of the new balance or asics in a sense and um yeah those will be kind of like my travel shoes running errands shoes or even run shoes as well all right, next we got a package from Amazon. Amazon. <gasps> ah, I'm excited about these. Okay, these are my new shades. I'm so excited about. So, I got two pair. I think one is a black, one is a brown. So cute. I love the retro look. I literally looked up retro glasses on Amazon and they came up. Oh! Oh, I like them. I love y'all. This is fire. Oh, these are fire, y'all. I like the brown better. Oh, the brown is it. <laughs> the vlog. I was calling to show you my new sunglasses. These are fire. Oh, you guys. Absolutely. Yes. I love both for sure, but I do prefer the brown. I want to show you guys some PR that we received this week. I did already unbox them, post it on my Instagram, but you guys have not seen them yet, so let's get into it. Um, first thing first, Wise Love Beauty sent me a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful package. It is so pretty. They always have the best packaging, like hands down. Um, this time they're introducing their Wise Love Beauty's new candy glow tinted butter balm. It says, meet your new favorite lip balm, a smooth, buttery lip balm with a soft shine. And pH adjusting pigments that delivers a custom color to your lips. Mmm. pH adjusting pigments. Available in six perfect buttery nudes. You can shop these at Sephora as well, y'all. So, mmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I just wiped my lip gloss off. So we have no makeup, nothing skin looks good though these are considered lip balms so i'm definitely not expecting a lot of pigment but i really want to see oh this is so cute wait 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 <laughs> i'm just a girl i love pink oh and then i love how good they smell their lip balms lip products always smell amazing like it makes you want to eat it so soft talk about soft lips wow wow yes 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 very light pigment right like i was not expecting a lot of pigment from these especially this when it looks this pink it's probably gonna be a very light light pink but 
I love that it adds a subtle tint to my lips. Very subtle. But most of all, y'all, this melts on my lips like butter. Let me show you guys. Even after putting it on, look at the shine on it. This is going in my bag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So our next PR package that we received is from Finery. Drum roll, please. I have seen this brand at Target before, y'all, and they smell amazing. They were kind enough to send three fragrances that smell amazing. And I'm going to tell y'all what my top two are. This is called Not Another Cherry. Then we have I'm a Musk. Last but not least, we have the new Rouge. So this smells like Wild Cherry, Turkish Rose, Almond Amaretto. And the scent experience described on here says the last decadent bite of an amaretto soaked cherry. If you have both fragrances, you're gonna have to agree with me on this. But this, this really reminds me of the Kayali Love Fest. I absolutely love it. I wore this the other day and I feel like this also has a good wear, very long lasting. Our next one that we have is I'm a Musk, Fluffy Musk, Creamy Sandalwood, Cotton Blossom. It's dreamy, woody, and soft. This gives me hints of Baccarat Rouge, I'm not gonna lie. I love it. And then the new Rouge, which is really masculine. So I'm thinking about taking this to babe. Smells like golden saffron, ember resin, and cinder wood. This gives Baccarat dupe as well. I'm picking up a Baccarat dupe from this, y'all. Mm, smells so good. Thank you, Finery, for sending over these scents. That completes our PR. Hi guys, good morning. We're going to DC today. I'm gonna be doing these whitening strips from Moon. This is a 10 minute express whitening strip, okay? Very excited to try these because I've heard of this brand before. They sent it in PR. So we're gonna try one today. One for the top and one for the bottom. You let it dissolve, it takes about 10 minutes. For best results, avoid eating or drinking for 30 minutes. These are sticky. They just dissolve and leave them out for 10 minutes. y'all these whitening strips so it's been about it's been about 10 minutes later and these kind of just dissolve right so you could just spit it out is it me is it me or there's like an instant whitening boost i'm just sitting here like hold on i like this this was my very first time using them, but I can see where a week of using this will whiten your teeth like crazy. All right, y'all, we're heading out the door. My driver's like two minutes away, so. Here's a quick airport outfit of the day. This is the two-piece set that we got from Amazon. Let me tell you, I'm obsessed. I want this in every single color and i've been seeing them all over tiktok shop too i want to try their quality as well but i still feel put together in this but it's so comfy loungy comfortable i do wish that it was a little bit longer like tall girl friendly i don't know if these are tall girl friendly i'm five six and i feel like i would have wanted them to cover my shoes a little bit more so i want y'all know how this looks after i wash it before y'all go and buy it okay 
I'm checking in a bag today. My luggage is from Target. She has been through thick and thin with me this year. This is definitely a first. I'm taking my Chanel um, jumbo flat with me because I'm packing light. I'm not bringing my laptop. I'm just bringing my necessities for this trip. I'll literally be gone for two days. Also, can't forget about the headphones. So yeah, we are out of here, y'all. I'll see y'all in DC. I was like, yo, should I give it to her <laughs> when she lands? When we go now? I'm like, yo, when was the best time? This to was enjoy? perfect. This was perfect. Cause like you open the door, I'm getting ready to hop <laughs> in. I'm like, what is this? What? When did you get these? Yeah, so you kept bothering me. What do you need? Like, yo, stop asking so much questions, yo. Yeah, I told you I was about to go home, but you kept like, yo, stop. <laughs> like, yo, leave me alone. Can I go it's do not, my shit? It's not easy to surprise me because I'm Ish. going to find out, like. Okay, should we turn this down a little bit? Oh, okay. Hi, y'all. Um, I kind of briefed y'all in on why we are here in D.C. Um, my babe's little brother is celebrating his birthday this weekend, so everybody's coming together for him. And we're doing a whole lot of different things. Like, his actual birthday was a few days ago. Also, that's why we have all the balloons behind us right now. So, don't mind all the balloons. A lot of surprises for him. Um, today is Saturday, so today we're going to this place called Go Ape, which is like, how, how do I describe this place? Outdoor obstacle course. Mm. Also, we've got burrito to go because just a quick little bite. So we're gonna do that with his brother and his girlfriend. So first things first, breakfast. This spot is so good, y'all. It's called Jayco um, Tacos. You want the other half? Yes. This was so good. For once, he ordered a better option than I did. So we like went half. He got half of mine, I got half of his, and his tastes better, I'm so mad. Um, but yeah, so I'll see y'all at Go Ape in a little bit. Bye. So, yeah. can you teach me something in your language? What is your language called? Igbo. Igbo. My Igbo man. Can you teach me something? Okay, the accent is throwing me off. <laughs> <laughs> you lost me the accent. You lost me with the accent. Kedu? Kedu? How are you? How are you? Kedu? Odema. Odema? Odema. 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 Odema baguette. No, <laughs> not even, no. No, not even close. Is that even the, how you say it? Odema. Odem. Odem. Ma. Ma. All right, let me teach you some Creole. I already did, but you probably forgot. All right. Um, come on, yeah. Como ye? Okay, I need to teach you something that's different because everybody teaches the same word. Okay, nu. Nu. Prale. Prale. <laughs> Prale. <laughs> Prale. Prale. <laughs> nu. Nu. Which means we. Nu. Us. Prale. Prale. 
There we go. No tally. Crawling. Hey. Jouer. Jouer. We're about to go play. Like, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out, like, if that's the right way to say it. Where are they? Probably. Okay, what's another thing I can teach you? Oh, you want to learn some curse words? Mm -hmm. Okay. They ain't no cussing around here. Ain't no cussing around here. Keep it real, real clean. Um, okay, what else? Let me say. Mouin. Mouin. Sot. Sot. Manger. 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 M-A-N. M-A-N. J-E. J-E. Mouin. Mouin. Sot. Sot. Manger. Manger. Mon bon. Mon bon. Tea manger. Tea manger. I just ate some really good food. <laughs> Yo, that's a lot. That's the whole sentence. I just ate some really good food. Moi. But are you speaking French? No. But see, Creole is a broken dialect that also has French, broken pieces of French in it. Mm. So most likely, if you speak French, you're going to understand Creole and vice versa. Because mm. you know we were co uh, colonized by French. Mm. So Creole is very similar to French, but it's it's its own broken dialect. Maswot maji. En bon. En bon. Ti manji. Ti manji. On bon matui. Dari nari. Dari nari. Dari. Dari nari. That don't sound nothing <laughs> like what I taught you. Maji maji. No, but you're good at this, babe. You're, I got you. You're really good at this. All right, y'all. We made it to go ape, but I'm fresh out the airport. I couldn't check in my hotel yet. Fresh out the airport, so. I'm about to grab a change of clothes because I don't think my outfit is appropriate for this, okay? I brought like an at leisure set. Actually, it's a one piece, but a lot more comfortable for this type of activity, girl, so. All right. Ooh. I know that's right. All right, so babe went inside to like check us in and I'm gonna attempt to change in this car. Um, uh, now that's gonna be hard. But I hope my flowers are okay back here. Whew, that's gonna be hard. Y'all, that's gonna be hard. Look, I do Pilates, okay? I can stretch. I do Pilates. I'm flexible. <laughs> any challenging thing I have to do, like, any physically challenging things that I have to do, I tell myself, you do Pilates, you can do it. Because <laughs> seriously, people don't understand. If you do Pilates, you'll be fine. All right. Okay. I'm going to change y'all. I'll be back. Off for another day. And then I have my Lulu crossbody bag. So, um, no, first time, so everybody. Close. Gotta get patty. <laughs> so, first of all, can you help me, like, uh, yeah. start letting go to half. So, does it start to feel snugger so, on the waist? Yep. Okay. And, can you help me take it? Tighten your leg loop. Yep. That you have and a little elastic band so you can go to black, so you're gonna slide them up, make the belt loop nice and smooth. Yeah, it should be tight. So you're gonna see it, like yeah. green elastics right here on the chest. Go ahead and slide okay. that up. Now it's gonna stop. And that way the straps aren't right in your face. And then safety for the leg loops and the weight. Yep. And you rest of the part, okay. place it on the cable. And put it right here. And you can good to go okay. during the crossing. Okay. <laughs> We just vibing though. Just vibe. If you guys watched, y'all remember when I was in Jamaica last year? I did. That was my first time zip lining. So that gives me a little bit more confidence to do it this time on. What you said, baby? Come here. Rolling. There you go. And just sit. Just sit. And then go.
one this far. I'm just a pro at this point. You better live your life. Our sixth round. Let's go. Oh my god. You gotta rock your landing, dog. Ugh, I got stuff in my eye. Blow, blow, blow. We did it! No, I couldn't see them before I left. Good morning, vlog. Good morning. Ah! It's brunch day. <laughs> It's the next morning, y'all. We're getting ready to um, head to brunch to celebrate the birthday boy. But first, we're stopping by um, a location, I don't know, I think to Conrad, to take some pictures for him. Anyways, I feel refreshed this morning. We had some breakfast that we just door dash um, because we knew we were gonna do brunch. So it was no point of going out to eat this morning, you know? Yeah, y'all, these whitening strips are working. My teeth, they never look this good. I need a little whitening boost because I drink a lot of coffee. Boom. Birthday boy and his lady. of I'm actually getting ready to go uh, check out my hotel I'm gonna drop off the bag with concierge go grab some breakfast because my flight is not until 2 p.m. and or 3 <sighs> get it right 3 p.m. my flight's at 3 I'll be heading out to the airport around 1 30 so it's 11 45 we've got plenty of time I want to head out for breakfast and um, just enjoy DC one last time Girl, I was so surprised to see that. I was not expecting DC to have a Joe and the Juice, okay? Atlanta, y'all are slacking. I don't understand why we don't have a Joe and the Juice in Atlanta, but there's one here in DC. I'm gonna take full advantage of that. I've been craving a spicy tuna cotto for a minute. And so we're getting that. And then I also wanna get a latte, y'all. I've been craving a good latte. Haven't had my coffee in like three days. I had such a great time yesterday and didn't fully vlog the whole day i know y'all i truly did a horrible job with my vlogging but i love being in the moment sometimes and just enjoying family good people good energy and that's what yesterday was full of so we celebrated yugo's birthday and it was just so wholesome so good you know you're having fun when you forget about the cameras that's how you know you really have a fun that brunch was good the food the food there was truly good so I am so sad that I'm leaving my flowers. I don't know. <laughs> I 
this truly meant so much to me and I literally wish I could take this home with me. So also y'all, he put them together himself because the company he wanted to order, he wanted to order 100 flowers for me and the company wouldn't have it ready on time. So he ended up putting, putting those together himself. Girl, if he wanted to, he would, okay. Light, turn left onto 21st Street Northwest. Okay, we got a blueberry latte. 